Hi, my name is Anoush, and I'm going to introduce a revolutionary revolutionary idea for you, Pixic. But first, I want the judges to take a look back on our great, amazing team. Team, please uh, raise your hands. Yeah, so thank you. And uh, let's hope to get the presentation started soon. Uh, I am going to start with a question. Um, who in the audience had problem finding this building and especially finding the parking in this building? Yeah, so... There is a parking, uh, and I'm going to tell you my story of how I came to start a weekend. So I, uh, I had the address. I uh, looked in, in uh, Google Maps where, the, where is the building. I tried to go on the website to see how it looks, and uh, I took my GPS with me. And eventually, this is how I ended up making uh, many U-turns, just getting frustrated and parking on the street and getting a ticket. Instead, if I could have requested a photo before going out of home from Paris Center with a little note, this is what I could have gotten. This is the parking lot entrance of the building with a little note. The parking is on the right of the building. Just push the button and open the gate. So let's start with a small uh, demo. Uh, when the service we provide is crowdsourcing your picture. So Nissan here uh, really likes startups. He's a really great uh, iPhone developer. And uh, he di didn't want to come here to, uh, he doesn't have much time because he's developing all day. And he wasn't sure if he should come here. So he decided that he wants to uh, check who are the uh, juries today. Uh, so he just enters uh, who are the juries, finds the location of this place on the map, and just sends this request. And uh, once he sends the request, he chooses the, the mileage. Once he sends, it's kind of a bid. <laughs> yeah, we got a few people who got the message. People who, who are connected with the app got the message, and then they can take the photo for him. He wants to pay five shekels for the photo because uh, he knows that it's worth his time. So people are taking pictures of the judges, and he's going to get the photos after the pictures are uploaded. The picture he picks uh, gets um, gets paid. We benefit from the share from the share uh, revenue share of this uh, model. So this is the business uh, model in a nutshell. <laughs> and I have to say that we developed it over the weekend. Our great engineers developed it in two days, both on iPhone and Android. The two other users had Android, so. This is it. It works. <laughs> so, I want to speak about some more e examples. Have you ever been to a sausage party? You're worried, are there going to be only guys in the party? You can avoid a party like this by choosing a picture. Uh, do you know, do you trust the weathermen? Sometimes they show us this picture. Is it going to be sunny? Is it going to be rainy? I really want to go to the beach. I don't know if the beach is going to look like this. Or maybe this is what the beach looks like on this day. I'm a news agent. I, wanna, I heard something happened in Egypt. I really want to know in real time what's going on there. So I request some photos, and this is what I get. I pay for it. Ten dollars, ten shekels, uh, whatever I want. So the idea sounds great, but the big challenge is the network effect, as you said. How are we actually going to make it work? And first of all, we have the great technical team. And uh, as a recent MBA graduate uh, from Tel Aviv University, this is where we're going to start marketing. We're going to start viral marketing through small uh, uh, through in Tel Aviv University and then expand to other colleges and universities. So basically, what are the benefits? Students are early adopters. They all have smartphones. They love technology. They have cliques of friends. Just imagine 10, friend, 10 friends starting using the technology and just spreading into other friends looking for um, parking lots in the university, which is a big problem in Tel Aviv, looking how the party looks, maybe the line to the market in the university. So to sum up, if I want to go skiing, I want to first check that there's snow. There's an accident. I want to get real-time photos from the accident as a reporter. I love Paris Hintel. If some, Hilton. If someone can get me pictures of her, that would be great. Uh, this is it. I want to thank our team. 
and I got to meet a lot of uh, very talented Palestinian engineers, and uh, thank you very much for that. Oh, we're E, we're E, we're E. I'll be so quick, don't, don't worry. Uh, I think that um, you don't need a network effect because I do think that people uh, want to be incentivized and take pictures and get paid for them, especially now in all the revolutions. And the strength that you have is, um, is what I would call, you have verifiable location data so that the person paying for a picture I mean, you will magically solve that, but, but you're supposed to have the tools to be certain that the picture was indeed taken where he thinks it was taken uh, at, at, at the time, etc., etc. So, um, I, I mean, I, I see myself as walking around with this silent application running with alerts enabled so that when some, where I'm located, someone's willing to pay me a dollar to take a picture. Why not? Uh, I think it makes, uh, it makes a lot of sense. Um, and uh, good luck. Make it happen. Thanks. And just a small comment on what you said. And uh, basically, we thought we we're going to use PayPal. And the model in PayPal is uh, you have ratings for both suppliers, who are the photographer, and both the customers. So if I'm a customer and I got a, uh, a photo and I didn't pay for it, I'm going to get a low rating. Or if I'm a supplier and I got the wrong, wrong uh, photo, I'm also going to get low rating. So no one is going to believe me and buy any more photos from me. That's great. So we have an external rating system, which even strengthens it. I like it. I just wonder if sometimes we use uh, um, heavy technology for things that might be solved differently. That's uh, some of the things I can relate and I think they are great. Some of them I think maybe can be solved, you know, much more simply. Yeah, you're right. For example, we showed that you can also write a message. Sometimes you don't really need a picture. You can just ask someone who is there, but you don't necessarily know someone, so you just send a message and get a message back. Or, for example, get a video back. I love the, the idea that you have already a, a, a working application. It's really nice, but you have a lot of privacy issues you'll have to deal with when you develop it further. Uh, keep that in mind and uh, have the option to be anonymous here because uh, there's a lot of people who'd love to participate but they won't uh, uh, participate if they have to reveal their identity, for example, demonstrators in Egypt. So think of that in mind when you develop further. Uh, I, I just wanted to say when I when I first heard this idea pitched, um, I, I kind of raised my eyebrow because it's it, it really surprised me. I, I uh, it, it seemed really new and interesting. Um, I know you guys have changed uh, changed the direction a little bit a few times. Um, and I think that there's been some really great refinement here. Uh, I hope you move forward with it, because uh, I think there's a lot of potential here. I really do believe in the uh, you know, text message versus picture versus video. Uh, I think the anonymous thing is great. Um, I think there's a lot of potential here. Uh, if you don't do something like this, I suspect someone else will in the next while. So uh, you know, keep on it. Awesome. Good job. Thanks. Uh, one last comment. Guys, um, mobile apps. You have someone to talk to after you you finish here. Stand up. OK. Thank you. Go nice and, to meet you. Go and meet him. All right. That was Pixie. All right, Pixie. Yay. <laughs>